phone, watch, bag, knife, gun, dog. Alright guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to do an everyday carry update for the summertime and this is my, basically my everyday carry. It's pretty rare, I don't have my firearm on me, but uh, I can't bring it to work and stuff, so minus when I'm going to work, it's inside this bag, or when I'm at the gym, like I just left the gym. So I'm home now, so I'll have this uh, crossbody messenger type bag, I like to call it, call it what you will, fanny bag, man bag, whatever. It's a freaking bag with stuff in it. And today we're gonna talk about some of the things I've been carrying. Uh, you know, everybody has stuff that they carry, Keys, phone, watches, knives, firearms, whatever. I like to carry some things just in case, you know, like a tourniquet or a pen or just a little bit extra, you know. You take your basic everyday carry and you turn it into a little bit more. So I don't generally carry a backpack anymore unless I'm going for long, long trips, uh, a couple hours, you know. I work super close. So I don't really generally carry my bag, but I always, always have this. And this is a VanQuest um, detergent, and this is the large. So it's the bigger one, it has a couple of nice zippers on it. And uh, so we'll just jump into this thing. And this is the gray one, and I really love this. I've had this for a while, I actually have two of them. The other one I use for work actually as a tool kit. So I carry a lot of my main tools with it uh, at work. So let's just jump into this front zipper here, and uh, here's my, my wallet. So which I forgot to mention, actually, this is a pretty basic thing. A wallet, everybody carries one, every man has one, women have them. Uh, some of you have them attached to your phone cases. I just keep it simple with this uh, from Pop-Off Leather. And it's got some teeth mark from Storm, give it a little character. And it's got HCRD stamped into the bottom. And uh, this thing's held up for a while. This is 100% Horween leather, it's really, really good. And I just keep credit card, I don't need a gun permit out here, you can just carry one, so my IDs, insurance cards, stuff like that in there, and that's it for my wallet. Other things I keep in here is a Zippo, got this a few months ago and I just always carry it, just, I like it a lot, just, um, oh, don't be empty and embarrass me. <laughs> Usually it's pretty good, I don't know, I guess it just doesn't like the camera. So anyway, I guess I'll fill that up, but just a plain Jane Zippo, and I keep that in there. And uh, a must-have, always with me. I always make sure they're charged by AirPod Pros, Apple AirPod Pros. These are an absolute must. You, ha you, you have to have these. If you don't have these, buy them. There's nothing better than them. They're the best. So my Apple AirPods. I always keep in here some type of a razor blade, whether it's my little Gerber tool, which uh, I like to carry at work a lot, because I can't have an open uh, pocket knife at work, but I'm allowed to have one of these. So I'll usually either carry that, but this is always in my bag, and this is just a Giltec Ruck, and I've had this for quite some time. This is a gift from Giltec, so them guys have always been really awesome to the channel, and it's just a real simple tool. Got a bottle opener on it. It's got a nice lanyard, so that's the Giltec Ruck. And if you can get that, that's just a really cool little razor blade. Super easy to take the blade out of there. Just kind of pop it out comes right out and then you could bring that on an airplane it would no, never know the difference just a bottle opener right and then when you get to wherever you're at throw a blade in there and you have yourself at least some type of uh, defense tool if you need it uh, so love the Giltec Rucks one of my favorite EDC tools for a pen I just keep a little Fisher Space pen inside here and this is expands to a bigger one so there you go, full size pen. And I keep this in there because it's really small. I don't like to keep it in my pocket because it sticks out a little bit. So I just keep it in my bag. So I always have some type of a writing utensil on me. That's the uh, little front zipper pouch right here. And then the main pouch has these big loopers on there. You can pull this open real nicely and it opens up. And there you go. So in this zipper uh, front here, I don't have anything. Sometimes I'll keep a mask in there or medication or stuff like that. Right now it's empty. Uh, but in the main pouch here, I keep a Gen 7 cat tourniquet. And so there you go. You always have a tourniquet. I, I always have a tourniquet on me no matter what. 
So there's that, and you can get fake ones of these, so make sure you're paying about 30 bucks uh, or so for them. If you're getting these like four packs for 20 bucks or whatever, they're probably gonna be fake. You're gonna be turning and turning them. They're not gonna cut off the circulation. A tourniquet's always good to have, so I keep one in my little bag here. Uh, a notepad, this is a log and, oh, log and jotter, um, just to jot down some notes or whatever. Usually it's just a shopping list for stuff I need at the store, stuff I'm trying to get for the apartment and things of that nature. Uh, try to keep this always in here. And uh, I really like Log and Jotter. Used to have a subscription to them. They would you know, send them out every now and again, actually every month. But uh, I stopped that subscription service with them when I moved out here. And I always use graph paper. Uh, it's just my favorite. So I like that. And there's a Log and Jotter notepad. Uh, for my firearm, as you'll see, it's inside here in a VanQuest holster, right? So Velcro VanQuest holster that Velcros to the, uh, the bag here, right? And then I have the firearm in a quick violent over holster. And so this is my Glock 43. And we'll go ahead and clear this. So, this is the Glock 43. I had this gun for, gosh, like seven years now or so. I carry it every single day, and it's got my stippled grip that I've stippled years and years ago now. Double undercut, OC Customs trigger. We got some night sights on there. Those are, which ones are these? I kind of forget now. Uh, the True Glow TFX Pros, and I don't really like to point it at me, but to show you guys, you know, the, the sights on this thing, I really like this big, you know, it's just really good to see. You can uh, see at night really nice with the white and during the day. Some of the other ones with the orange dot, you can't see during the day. You can see at night great, like the Trigicon, but you can't make out, make out that uh, sight during um, daytime. So I like these a lot. It uh, has a ghost connector inside it and everything that the trigger bar and all that stuff is all polished and uh, I love this gun because it's just you know small, lightweight, thin and I carry this thing every single day besides when I'm going to the workplace because you can't have it but other than that always keep it with me. The magazine I keep a plus one on there from Taran Tactical so you got that little plus one guy there and uh, so there you go, gives it a little bit of extension for your pinky, and so there's that. And the holster, this is a quick violent over holster, it's got the multicam fabric over the orange carbon fiber, and uh, it's, this is a really good holster, it has the extra piece here, so it, you know, it did come with that little adapter piece, but I take it off, it's a little bit too much for this gun, and uh, just this is enough to bring it into your hip, so it's not sticking out. And so when you're, when you're wearing this, like I wear it, it just brings it in uh, back here on your side so the butt of the gun isn't sticking out. And so there's that. Extra magazine, this is your factory uh, Glock 43 mag, just six rounds, that's it. It's all you really need. I mean, I don't plan to get on in any gun fights, you know, so uh, just have that. And then like I said, this little Velcro guy here, is you know that's what it straps into i don't like having it and you know strapped with just the gun in there because there's too much risk for a trigger accidental trigger pull or you know something whatever so i keep it in the holster and then i put it around that so there's that and but you can't put the extra mag in the slot so i just kind of keep it in there and it works out just fine for me uh, so that's pretty much it for this bag, other than this back zipper back here, I'll keep, because uh, we're going to be getting back to the mask thing. We all know it, and let's just get ready for it. So I just keep a couple of masks or usually stuff like that back there, or a hank. I usually always carry a hank. Uh, they're in the wash right now, so but that's where I'll, I'll keep that if it's not on me. Uh, on body stuff, uh, usually, um, if I'm not in gym clothes like I am right, right now, uh, I'll keep, I have my firearm on me. And for a pocket knife, I'm still carrying my Spyderco Para 2, or Para 3. And uh, this one, I don't know, this has been a good knife for me for a while now. 
and um, I've had this knife for a few years. I got a deep carry pocket clip on there. That's from MXG. Got a little scratching on it. Gives it a little character. It's just a just a really good looking knife. Uh, this one is CPM S30V steel. So you got the good steel on that bad boy. Mercata scales, or no, no, these aren't Mercata scales. What are these scales called? I don't remember, but it's nice, really nice grip. And this knife's about 150 bucks or so. I think you might be able to get them cheaper, but I've had this knife for a, while, for a long, long time. I've had the old all black one, and I used to carry that. That's the, that was the paramilitary two. And then this one is a bit smaller, or is this the same one? Gosh, now I forget. Anyway, that's, uh, oh yeah, this one is a little bit smaller. The other one's much bigger, but there you go. That's my pocket knife, in any case. Kind of forget what's going on there. And then for a watch, because that's really the only other thing I have on, besides like my gold chain, which is from Jackson Gold. Uh, it's a 14 carat Cuban link chain. And, you know, that I guess you could consider that part of my EDC. So we'll take that off and I'll show you. And something like this I'll run you under $200, about $150, bucks. So you use your discount code, and that is a 14 carat triple bonded Cuban link gold chain, and I wear that every day, so that's part of my EDC, and this is not stainless steel or brass, this is sterling silver triple bonded uh, 925 Italy, so it's made in Italy, it's really good, and um, I love this chain, it's, it's really nice. But anyways, my watch, it's real simple, it's real cheap. This is my everyday carry watch. I literally wear this watch every single day. It's the one I wear most out of all the watches that I have. And this is just a real simple Casio $16 F91W. It's, it's literally the cheapest watch you can get. And I just went ahead and put a NATO strap on it and in you know some Arctic camo and it looks awesome with the blue. So I've had this watch for a while now and it, this is the one I wear most. So you know I have I have all the G-Shocks. I have other nice watches that I'll wear on occasion. Sometimes I'll throw a G-Shock on, but honestly, this is the watch that I wear most and it just it's the reason why I like this watch out of all the other ones is because it's so uh small, you know. It's just small and lightweight and thin on the wrist and it doesn't you know bother me some watches will bother you and you know they get heavy they get in the way but this one you know i just like it it just looks good and it's simple i'm not worried about if it gets scratched up or banged up or something when i'm working out or at work you know like my apple watch i have the apple watch series 5 and i'm always worried about that getting scratched and all that stuff so uh don't really wear it as much but this one i wear all the time for a phone i got the iphone 11 pro max and, uh, you know, I've had this phone for a while. I just got a brand new one because my other one broke a few months back. And so uh, there's that. And I use a Mod Z case, which has the camera protector on it. You slide that over because your camera, you're always touching your camera. And I, use, I do a lot of filming and taking pictures with my phone. And when your cameras are exposed, you always grab it. You know, you're putting your fingers all over it, you know. So this little slide guy here really helps it out. And it's been an okay case, you know. Obviously, if you drop it hard enough, it's going to break the phone. I mean, it had no problem breaking a few months ago. The whole freaking screen was cracked. The back glass was cracked and everything. So it didn't really hold up too well. But it does protect that camera, and I don't drop my phone a whole lot. It was a different thing that broke the phone. But anyways, that is my phone. And that will conclude this video. I'm almost 100% positive. I'm forgetting something, but that's okay. Uh, you know, this is just a quick EDC update for you guys. I know you've been dying to see them and everybody likes watching these videos. And my, my everyday carry doesn't really change. Uh, these are the things that work for me and I don't, I don't usually change it, you know, ever. It, it's just I carry the same knife, the same things every single day because that's what works. And I'm not gonna just go buy stuff just to make a uh, video, you know. Um, but I am looking to get a new updated EDC, get some different knife and some maybe you know, a different watch and uh, maybe throw a different firearm in there. I'm getting ready to buy maybe a, a new gun. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, share, subscribe and link for Patreon will be below. Links for all this stuff I'll try to put below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, me and Storm, 
she's over there sleeping. We'll see you guys later. So that's it, I'll see you guys, peace.